Let me run it again. Step in, step in, step in. And now let's look at the value of STR output. Check it out. It read, this is line one. It read our first line. And remember, guys, what I told you happens. So now we have this is line one stored in this variable, right? And so when we check this statement again, did our file reach the end of the stream? No, it did not. So we're going to continue. And this has this is line one in here. And this has what, guys? This is line two because this reads the next line. Okay, so now we're at line two. And this has this is line one. So this is line one is going to get concatenated with this is line two and placed into this variable right here, str output. Now watch over here, str output value change. See that? This is line one and this is line three. That's weird. Why did it do that? Let me see something. Oh, I know why. Because I need to clear that object. Okay, guys, check it out. There's something weird happening here. I don't know if it's an issue with VB script. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong. But check it out. So look, look at uh, obj.read line, right? So right now it's reading line one. As soon as I execute this do while statement, it's already moved on to line two. Check it out here. Now, after I read line again, it's already at line three. So it's read, it reads each line at this point and then at this point. So it's done this two times and this only one time. And so my final output is only, this is line three, which is very weird, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to show you guys that method just because it exists, but there's an easier way to read a file anyway, which is what I use most of the time. This was just an example. So just know that it exists. Maybe one of you guys wants to Google and figure out why this doesn't work, but it's not something that I would recommend to use anyway for reading a file all at once. And the other thing I wanted to say, guys, that this logic right here is a very common logic for a lot of reading and writing processes. So for example, in my keyboard-driven frameworks or in my test-driven frameworks for UFT, I read an Excel spreadsheet that has all of my test cases. And how do I read them? I read them while a row is not blank. So until a row becomes blank in my spreadsheet, I am reading data. And then inside of that loop, I am doing something to that data. Does that make sense, guys? You can also do that for uh, driver scripts. While the driver script has certain browsers in an array, you keep running all of the test cases. And very common, I said, like I said, for reading and writing is this loop with this kind of concatenation mechanism, increment mechanism. So just keep this in mind. Make sure you understand what's going on here. It didn't work in this instance, but I'll show you guys right now how it should work.